sequence that will match our clip perfectly, we can right-click the clip and choose New Sequence from Clip. This will create a sequence that is exactly the same frame size and frame rate as the clip that you right-clicked. It will also have the same name as the clip. You can easily rename this sequence or anything here in the project panel by right-clicking and choosing Rename by clicking Waiting a little bit and then clicking again, or by selecting the item and then pressing the Enter or Return key. Once the text is selected, you can type any name you wish. You can also create a new sequence if you drag the clip to the New Item icon at the bottom of the project panel. This is the same thing as right-clicking the clip and selecting New Sequence from Clip. Easy, right? But what happens when you select more than one clip and choose New Sequence from Clip? Or drag them all to the New Item icon? Let's see. I select all of these clips and drag them to the New Item icon and, as you can see, it takes the name of the first clip that I selected. Which is great, because I can change the name of the sequence, as you saw before. What if I have clips of different frame rates and different frame sizes? What happens then? Let's try that as well. I will import several clips that are 24p and also a DV one and mix it with this 1920 by 1080 one. Now that I have the clips in the project panel, I will select the DV one first and then I will select several of the other ones. Now I can create the new sequence based on these clips. When we look at the settings of the sequence, we notice that indeed the sequence took the settings of the DV clip. The other clips can be used in this sequence even though their settings do not agree with the sequence and you don't have to render. There are other ways of creating sequences in Premiere Pro. You could also choose a preset. For this, go to File, New, Sequence, or click in the New Item icon at the bottom of the project panel and choose Sequence. This opens the New Sequence panel, and from here you can choose a preset that suits your needs. You can see that Premiere Pro has all of these presets organized by Codex. When you select one of the presets, you will see that there is a description of what settings the selected preset is using. To use the preset, just click it and now give it a name. The sequence name can be set in here. It is not a good idea to name your sequence Sequence 01 and Sequence 02. It is much better to give your sequences appropriate names. For this example, I will choose a 1920 by 1080 sequence and I'll give it the name Building because I will put some building clips in here. Now, I'll click OK. OK, so now the sequence opens up in Premiere Pro and I can start adding clips. To add clips to a sequence, I will just drag the clips from the project panel. I will drag some of the building clips and as you can see, they fit perfectly. Now I will delete these clips and add clips that we know do not match, like this clip in here, which is a DV clip. As we know, DV is 720 by 480 with a non-square pixel aspect ratio, so for sure it is different than the sequence. Once you have a sequence, you can duplicate it, and you can even import it into other Premiere Pro projects. In the next section, we will cover creating a preset for your sequences. See you then!